why I never became a dolphin, a Miami dolphin. True story. You see, back in 1998, Miami Dolphins great, I mean great, Dan Marino and Zach Thomas, they were scheduled to visit my elementary school. A visit that never happened. Now, instead of showing up like they promised they would for weeks, they didn't. They sent somebody that nobody knew. Till today, I could not tell you who that person was. You see, at this moment in time, I had not picked an NFL team yet. But just because of this, I had not ruled out the Dolphins as being my team as of yet. The event went great. Without you, Zach Thomas. Without you, Dan Marino. It went great. So the Miami Dolphin organization had sent gifts for us. Footballs, t-shirts, you name it. Anything that said Miami Dolphins, they sent it. So that weekend coming up, Miami plays Dallas, the Dallas Cowboys. They lost that game 20 to zero. I remember it like it was yesterday. At that moment, as a young kid, I'm like, I don't wanna root for this team. They're losers, I don't. At this point, my uncle said to me, if you're gonna watch sports, pick a team and be loyal to them. So, back then, ESPN was the only thing you could turn to, or you could turn to the newspaper. They're in the newspaper, in the NFL section, right down into the, um, you know, the scores and the standings are the teams that won and the teams that basically, you know, are leading their division and everything like that. I chose the St. Louis Rams. Now the Rams went on to win the Super Bowl. Have won since. See, I was already a Los Angeles Lakers fan because I came here in the era of Kobe and Shaq. I never got to see Michael Jordan play. I was born and raised in Jamaica. Basketball is not a thing in Jamaica. Well, at least when I was in Jamaica, around the time that I was born. Now for me, picking my college football team was like National Signing Day. I've already decided that I was gonna stay in the state of Florida. So I had Florida State, Florida, and Miami right in front of me. Well, the rest is history, folks.